Hi, everybody, and welcome to Unwind and Design. Today, we are going to be doing a really cute baby Grogu painting inside of a jack-o'-lantern. I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I do. It's going to be super cute. We hope that everybody has their paper towels today, their cup of water. We're going to be using our primary colors today, our yellow, black, red, blue, and white. And we should all have four brushes. The brushes we have in front of us today are our large background brush. Okay, and it's exactly like our square brush, except that's a little bigger. And I like to use it for my background, so that's what I call it, a background brush. Next, we have our square brush, our round tip brush, and our detail brush. Okay, we're gonna get started today. Let's use our round tip brush to create an outline, okay? So we're gonna start first by adding a little bit of water to the corner of my white. If you notice, I always mix around the corners of my paint. I hardly ever mix right in the middle. And that's so that I can use only this amount of paint to do all of my painting, okay? So I like to add a little bit of water to the corner and then I pull in some of that yellow and I'm gonna to start to mix it on the side. Not only do I mix on the side, but I also have all this space to use in the middle that I can also use for mixing. Okay, and we're gonna use this just as our highlight or our, our beginning liner, okay? Just to sketch everything out. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a line right in maybe a little bit below the middle. So this is the middle right here. I'm gonna make my line a little bit lower, like an inch. We don't want it to be too big. We still wanna leave a hand's worth of space on each side. And then from there, we're gonna bring two lines coming down to the bottom and make a straight line. Okay, so two lines, and then a straight line. And here, we're gonna create a line right in the middle. And instead of going to the middle, this is the middle, we're gonna put our finger, and on the side, we're gonna go up to the right, and on the other side, we're gonna go up to the left. See that? Next, we're gonna add another finger right here. Same thing on the side, we're gonna go up to the line and then the other one is just gonna finish in the corner. There we go. Same thing, finger here. And then I'm gonna go from the side up to the top. And then this one, I'm gonna fix it and make it a little bit chubbier. There we go, so that way it goes together. There we go. And now that looks more like a pumpkin. And you know what? Let's get started on our pumpkin. Why not? We're going to put our round tip into our water and let's pick up our square brush. With this square brush, I'm going to pick up some of this yellow and I'm going to put it next to my red. Again, squeeze it, squeeze some of that water from my brush out and I'm going to put it next to my red. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of red. Oof, that doesn't look like a little now, does it? That looks like a lot. So I'm gonna scoop up a little bit more and mix it. And there we go. We want more of like a lighter orange color. Okay, and with that orange, we're gonna begin to just draw in or paint in our pumpkin. There's one side. After you do the one side, I want you guys to skip a little bit of space, okay? And I'm gonna show you why. Next, it's a little bit of space. You see how I left that line there? And then I'm painting the next line. For this one in the middle, and I'm moving kind of fast too, if you notice. And I'm doing that because I want this to stay wet so that I can mix it with my other colors. So we're gonna paint this right in the middle. 
same thing on this side. Except that on the left, we're gonna put our colors closer to the left. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space and I'm gonna leave more colors to the left. On the right, you leave the spaces to the left in the middle. On the left, you leave your spaces on the right. See, space on the left. And then on this side, you leave it on the right. And in the middle, you just paint the middle. So again, getting that orange, sticking to the right, leaving a space on the left side of it. Next spot, sticking to the right, leaving a spot in, to the left of it. Next spot, right in the middle. Next spot, now we're going to the left side and leaving a spot right there, skipping space, and then doing the end. And this is why we do that. Let me make a little bit more of this orange so I can show you why I'm doing that. So I'm adding a little bit more of that red. And then here's the magic. I'm gonna add a tiny little drop of blue. And that's gonna give me a slightly darker orange. Let me add a little bit more blue and a little bit more red because it's starting to turn into the blue. And what do we start to get? We start to get a really nice brownish color. There we go, look at that, nice and light. So now I'm gonna go on the other side and I'm gonna paint on top of that corner and on top of that orange a little bit. And that's gonna give me a shadow. You want to make the sides that got darker a little lighter come back and pick up some of this yellow and just add more yellow to that side and that way it'll make it just a little bit lighter look at that you can even add a little bit of that yellow right in the center that'll really brighten it up get out a little bit of white with that yellow even nice and loose it's all on the wrist nice and loose you don't have to try to fill it in and be perfect just nice and loose we're just swiping our brush very light and there you go we're gonna close that off if you want to go in and add more shadow i'm gonna add just a tiny little drop of black into that brown to make it just a little bit darker. And there we go. I'm making the shadows a little bit darker too, just like we added highlight. We're gonna use our square brush and we're gonna start working on our higher section, okay? So on the second, we're gonna pick up and we're gonna make sure we leave a lot of space here. But we're gonna pick up this brown that we made, okay? And it was again, the orange, which was red and yellow with some blue to make it dark. Or you can add a tiny little drop, tiny little drop because a little bit goes a long way. And a little bit is gonna turn it into that dark chocolate color we want. It's always better to add a little bit of paint at a time and have to waste it all and mix a lot of black and then mess up and be like, dang, I messed up. And then you're wasting your paint. Okay, so next we're gonna get some of this brown and we're gonna start in the middle by doing two fingers and a block, two fingers and a block in the middle. We're going to go ahead and paint that in. So 
So now at the bottom here, we're actually gonna bring it out to the side a little bit, okay? Let's start to fill that in. Okay, remember this doesn't have to be exact. From here, I'm gonna bring two lines like a triangle going up and I'm gonna paint that in. Get that like an upside down triangle. And then we're gonna paint that in. Now we're gonna do the same on the other side. Another upside down triangle and let's paint that in. From here, in this brown that we made, we're gonna add a little bit more yellow. Let's make it a little lighter. And we're gonna add a little bit more, more white. Ooh, it's like a nice sandy tan. Look at that. I love it. There we go, perfect. So I added more yellow and more white nice and light and what we're going to do is right here we're going to curve it nice and short to the other side and what we're working on right now is baby grogu's coat You also want to make an oval on the arms. So right here, we're going to make a nice oval, make a straight line on the sides, and then just make it curved on the longer parts. So on the shorter parts, you're going to want to make it a little bit more straight right on the edges. But on the tops, on the wider sections, you're going to want to make it nice and wide. Same thing on the other section. Next, we're gonna move up a little bit higher now. We're gonna wash our, our square brush. And you know what? Let's pick up our green brush now. And we're going to use our green brush to make green. So we're going to use this watery yellow that we made on this side, the one we outlined our pumpkin with. If you don't, if you already ran out of it, get a little bit more yellow, a little bit more water. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of white to that. Okay, we want to make it nice and light. Next. I'm gonna come in and add a little bit of blue. Okay, and look at that. It's gonna turn a little bit of a turquoise. Let's add more green to, more yellow to that. And let's start to turn this a little bit more green. And there we go. We got the green we wanted right there. Perfect. So we're gonna get this green and we're gonna start first by making a nice big chubby head. See that? Now let's make it a little bit wider. We can go behind the little gloves. See, paint behind them. Same thing over here, let's paint behind these gloves to make his head a little bit bigger. There we go. And we can start painting his face in. If you feel more comfortable using your square brush, you can dry it off and use that square brush too. Remember, side to side. We want to make sure we cover all this space, side to side, nice, smooth. Okay, from here, 
we're going to get our square brush. And on the top of the side of the head, we're going to bring this down like that. That's one. We're going to do the same on the other side. Here's the ear. And we're going to bring it down. For the darker space, I'm going to add a little bit more of this green or blue into my green so that it gets a little darker. And with that darker green, I'm going to outline part of Grogu's face so that it looks like he's got shadow. You can add a tiny little drop of black if you want to make your green darker too. Just remember, not too much, just a little bit. Next, we're going to go behind and fill in the bottom of the ear with that darker green. Okay, I'm going to go behind the ear a little bit, behind the little, gl the little glove, and I'm going to bring this down and then go up like a triangle and fill that in too. Nice and soft, guys. No need to go fast. No pressure. Nobody's pressuring you. Remember that. Next, on the other side, we're going to start right next to it. Same thing. Right here. And then we're going to go around and down. And we're going to go down the side of the ear. And again, we're going to go up. There we go. I'm going to come back at a little bit more of that light green on top of it, on top of the ear. There you go. So that it looks more together. I'm going to add a little bit more yellow to it again. Make him a little bit lighter here in this section. So again, I added a little bit more yellow, made him a little bit lighter. Just a little bit. There we go. And then I added a little bit of the dark blue or dark green just to add that shadow there. We are going to move on to working on the top of our pumpkin while this is all drying. So we could go work on the rest of the details. Or you know what? As a matter of fact, why don't we start outlining the bottom half first? So we're going to get a little bit of black using our detail brush. And right here at the edge of the arm first, we're going to come right on the corner. And we're going to stop. We're not going to go all the way to the edge. Okay, let me zoom in. We're going to start with the arm. We're going to start right in the corner and stop, not going all the way to the edge. Next, we're going to make a little line going up and then just close the bottom. Okay, the reason I'm leaving this here is because we're going to have a little hand. The little hand is going to be coming out on this side. It's going to be a line and three zigzags. See that? That's the little hand. If you want to outline it already, you can. Next, we're going to outline.
outline the whole arm thing. So let's start with the arm going up. We're going to start with the side of the sleeve. Same thing here. We're going to bring it across. And then here, we're going to bring it sideways. Good job. Next from here, we're going to bring it up and sideways again. And we're going to start to work our way that way towards the left. So let's start to create some of these lines in black across the center. And let's do the top one as well. And then across the middle, a line. There you go. You can also add a line down at the bottom. As a matter of fact, let's add two. Next, on the next arm, we're going to do the same thing. We're doing our lines on the side. Again, we're starting on the top bringing our line down like an almond, but not going all the way to the bottom, just like we did here. We're going to add a line going sideways. And if you want to connect these two and make little zigzags for the little hands, you can. All right. So next from here, get some more of that black, and we get to paint in all of that bottom section. From here, we can also outline a little sleeve. And there we go. From here, let's go across. The front of Grogu. Okay, there we go. And then here, let's add some lines across on the side to curve with the shape of the pumpkin. There's one curve, okay, where the dark line ends. As a matter of fact, before we do that, let's do the jack-o-lantern face. We're going to have a little triangle in the middle. Two big triangles on the side. And then the mouth, okay, which is the bottom two teeth. And then the top three teeth. So a tooth there in that space, in that space, and there we go. So now that we have that outline, you can come back and add our lines. So here again, wherever the dark spot ends, right at the corner is one line. And I'm gonna stop at the eye, continue at the bottom, stop at the mouth and continue at the bottom. Okay. Next, here's another line. So I'm gonna make it right in the middle. Here's one. Stopping, continuing, stopping, and then continuing underneath the mouth. Let's do the other side now. So here we have a side going up, stopping, up, stopping, up and around. There we go. Other side. Here's the edge of that. So we're going to start at the bottom and I'm going to curve a little bit. There we go. And then finally, we have that last space outside. There we go. I love it. From here, I believe. We can work our way up and let's start working on our little pumpkin head. So for this color, remember we use some orange 
And the orange we used, we can use our square, our round tip brush for this. And our orange again was a scoop of yellow and a scoop of red. To make it a little darker, you can add more red and a little bit of blue. And that'll start to make your color a little brown. Okay, you can make it even darker by adding a tiny little drop, okay, a little drop of black. And look at that, how your brown is gonna turn a little bit darker at a time. All right, so light orange is red and yellow. Dark orange is just red and yellow with a little bit of blue. Okay, so I'm gonna make this orange on top. I'm gonna start a little light. And we're gonna make, leave a little bit of space and we're gonna make a little oval like that. So leave a little space and you're gonna do a little line over the top. Next at the bottom, you're gonna make a little line connecting. Look at that. As you go more to the top, we're gonna make it a little bit chunkier that orange on the top part. Okay. This looks a little dark, so I'm gonna add some of that dark color down here too. That way it goes with it also. See, put some of that dark red into the jack-o-lantern also. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna pick up some of that dark brown we made. And I'm gonna put it on the other side and it was orange with a little bit of blue or a little drop of black. And look at how it's a little darker on that side. Doesn't that look beautiful? And on this side, it's a little lighter. You can add more yellow, make it lighter. And we're playing with values, okay? So let me go from a dark color to a light color. And I love it. Cool. Next, we're gonna get our detail brush and we're gonna pick up our black one more time. Let's get this black and we're gonna start to paint in the inside of the top of that hat. So we're gonna go over the top of Baby Yoda's head or Grogu's head. Okay. And we're gonna start painting in the inside. So now it's like it's actually on his head. See that? There we go. Next, we're going to start outlining the pumpkin. So we're going to start first in the middle here. We're going to make an, a line over the top of the whole thing. Okay, so I'm getting that black. I'm making a line over the top and the bottom. Why not? Next, we're going to add a big lump in the middle here and then curve it. From there, we're just going to outline the side. And then we're going to do the other side. One, two. So again, we did the main arch. And then we did the side one, two, and then finally the third one. There we go. On top, you can get a little bit of that brown and you can add a little stem. Over the top of it. Okay, with that brown. There we go, added a little bit of black in the corner. And then I'm gonna outline it with that black.
And the final thing I'm going to add is going to be a little bit of green. So it's going to be that yellow mixed in with a little bit of the blue. And what I'm going to do with that green is on the side, I'm just going to press lightly and then press hard to give it a couple of loops. Look at that. See how pretty that looks. You can come in and even do a couple of swirls. So it looks like there's some vines coming out of it. Okay. Next, let's work on his eyes. Okay. For this one, we're going to use our round tip one. I mean, our detail brush. And right in the middle, we're going to do a little smile. So it's almost like a crescent moon. There we go. Next, we have a big line on top and a couple of little lines. Next, on the sides, we're going to have one big circle. We're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to have a nice big circle. And we're going to fill that in with black. We're going to let that dry a bit while we add a little bit of our highlight underneath of our character. All right. So we're going to start adding some highlight colors underneath this section right here. And we're going to use our round tip brush. And the color we're going to use is going to be some yellow and some white. Again, yellow and white. You're going to get this color. And we're going to start filling in all this section. If you feel more comfortable using your detail brush, your small brush, Go ahead and use that brush. You don't have to use this big one. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable. I'm going to use my big brush to just apply the large sections of paint. And then I will be coming back with my little brush to just create the outlines better. Or to define the outlines. From here, we're just going to pick up our black again and just re-outline the spaces. So I'm defining the black line once again. There you go. From here, I'm going to give my detail brush and also mix a little bit of yellow with a tiny bit of blue, maybe a little bit more yellow to make it lighter. And I'm going to come in and fill in these little hands too. There's one little hand. There's two little hands. And let me use my black to outline them again. You know what? I'm going to do a little palm right in the middle. Yay. Nice and cute. Same thing over here. I'm going to use my black to outline it a little bit better. And then do a little palm. There we go. We're also going to outline Grogu's face. 
So let's start by outlining the sides first. It's going to be nice and round. Here's one side going up towards the top. And here's the other side. Nice and round. This is a very stylized character. Okay, next from here, we're gonna do the ears coming down, a line in the middle and a line at the bottom. Next on the other side, it's gonna be the same. Once we're done with that, we're gonna get our detail brush. We're gonna mix a little bit more of this orange. So we're gonna get some yellow, some red, and I'm gonna add a little bit of black to that. I wanna get this nice and dark. I'm gonna add more red to it too, nice and dark. Maybe a little bit more yellow. That might look a little bit on the purple end. So let's get some more of that yellow. Okay, and this is still a little bit on the lighter end. Okay, let me add a little bit more black. See, and it's a game to go back and forth to get the color that you really want. And there you go, I got myself a nice dark brown. With this dark brown, we're gonna add a little bit underneath the eye for Grogu. We're gonna add a little bit of this dark brown. Let me make it a little darker, there we go. We're gonna add a little bit of that dark brown to the side of the pumpkin to add a shadow. See that? Just a little bit. We're also gonna add some of this shadow on the side over here of the sweater, there's that part. We're also gonna do a little bit in the middle and on the side of the scarf. And we're gonna add some to the bottom of the sleeves. And on the sides of the sleeves so that it looks like there's some shadows there. See that? And now we have some shadows around. You can add a little bit of the shadow also to the bottom part of the pumpkin. So we added some of that brown on there. And then finally, the last thing we're going to add is going to be our highlights. You know what? I didn't add any brown to this either. Let's add some to those leaves. And to some of these little curves or vines, right? There we go. Now it looks a little bit more complete. Cool. So next, the last part is gonna be your highlights. We're gonna get a, a little scoop of white. We're gonna add a little line on the side of the head, going down the side and then a little bulb. There's a little section there on the side as well. Next, let's add a little bit of some white lines on top of the pumpkin to give it some highlight. Look at how that pops with just a little bit. Get some more of that white. I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight on this part of the arm over here too, maybe on top of the scarf. Maybe a little bit on the fingers. Maybe even a little bit on the ears, why not? Look at how pretty that looks. With some of that highlight on the ears. Okay, what about on the eyes? We could do these big shimmery eyes. 
with a little, little shimmery spot right underneath. Let's do the other side too. Nice, bright, shimmery white. with a tiny little shimmer spot right underneath. We can also add that shimmer dot right on the side of the pumpkin as well, a little, little bit bigger. And then just with the white, scoop it up and scoop it down so it looks like it's also a shimmer spot, just like the top of this face right there. We can add another one maybe right here, a little bit smaller. And then finally, just a little bit of a highlight on top. Okay. Getting a little bit of highlights in all these little sections. I'm also adding some shadows where I forgot to add some. Putting a shadow there by the buckle underneath the arm. There you go, added a little bit more brown around the arm and the bottom of the chest. And on the opposite side, you added, I added a little bit of a highlight. And there you go, baby Yoda. When you're done, don't forget to get your brush and to just put your signature on the bottom right-hand side. It's gonna be a lot of fun to do this painting. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And I look forward to painting with you guys in the future. Bye.